In the previous Mario's episode, we had the choice of joining a faction, which was either the Hurt Business or Evolution. We ended up choosing Evolution, now it's time to find out what's next. Finally! After being gone for three weeks, I'm finally back home if you don't know i went to wrestlemania i traveled to I wrestlemania it. and now there's been a couple things that have been taking up my time in real life so i haven't been able to record but now we're back on track we're back in business with content also really quickly want to thank you guys for 4,000 subscribers like we have been growing so fast this past months and a half it's been insane and i wanted to thank you guys really quickly regardless the king's road to wrestlemania vlog series is on the way it's just taking me a lot longer than i thought it was gonna take me to edit edit but i'm still working on it and that is coming anyways it's just Let's jump right into the video. We got things to do. We gotta catch up. Everybody's finished my rise by now. MVP, what do you want, brother? You've got some guts showing up here. Not really. See, evolution in the herb business don't have an issue until now. <clears throat> what it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. Why is that, sir? And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. Are you sure about that? I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? Sure. Sure. Doesn't matter to me, because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away intercontinental champion. Okay, lock. I have a feeling we're not gonna be walking away with the IC title by the end of this, but whatever. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. <clears throat> Come on, use your head, Gabe. You're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. The levels of disrespect from Randy are not appreciated. I'm supposed to be the next top guy. I don't appreciate this disrespect. Randall. We're going to be taking on Carmelo Hayes. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Hey, yo, Melo. Okay. Listen, I know I haven't played in a couple of weeks, but let's relax. You said Melo's him. No, I'm him, bro. I'm him. <laughs> Yo, MVP, MVP, let's relax, MVP. Talking all that smack, cause I didn't join your bum faction. <laughs> Canadian Destroyer, another Canadian Destroyer. Off the ropes, no. spear, oh, he reversed my spear. No. And I reversed his wrong. Oh. oh, Lord. Oh my God, this is a banger as expected. <laughs> no, oh my gosh. One for again, one more time. Canadian Destroyer! Get up, Melo! You're gonna miss this one! Executioner! It's over! One, two... Oh my god, he kicks out! What is this? This match is a banger! Here you go! Oh, kick up! Oh! Canadian Destroyer! Again! It's time to end it! Spear! One, two... Three. Let's go. Melo missed that one, bro. That was a banger match. Melo put up a match, but at the end of the day, I'm him. After the last week's preview, a huge Intercontinental Championship match class takes place on tonight's Raw as John O'Connor defends against Omos. We've done all the advanced scouting we needed, and now Omos winning the Intercontinental Championship is just a formality. Business is about to pick up. Let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm going to be in your corner to make sure you hold on to your title. I can win without your help. I appreciate the support, but... Appreciate the support, but I'm confident I can win this on my own. Besides, you said I was the next version of you. Let me live up to that for once. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm going to be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business will be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's gonna think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to, <clears throat> but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion, the Fina. Right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That evolution isn't some kind of 
crutch, propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined Evolution, and now you need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck. He's about to betray me, isn't he? It's over. Evolution lasted a whole two weeks. We're gonna be defending the Intercontinental Championship against Omos. Let's get it done. And hopefully Randy doesn't RKO us by the end of this. Well, here we go. And immediately Omos puts me in a freaking bear hug. You know, get off of me. Stop that, Omos. All right, Omos, you big ass man. Here we go. Oh. 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 Hold on, I gotta do this. I gotta make Omos do a freaking Kamehameha Destroyer. Here we go. Oh my god, no. What's happening? No. Don't screw me out of my title. Oh my god, the ref bump. The classic. Don't do this to me. Okay. Oh, it's over. Oh. Omos with a pin attempt. The referee's coming to one. Hey, okay, let's relax. Omos is the Intercontinental Champion. What is this? You know, I should have seen that coming. I should have just accepted their help. And now my ass is probably gonna get kicked out of Evolution. It's a wrap. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. To be honest, I did. Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. Huh? I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. <clears throat> Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title, but that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed repeatedly what's next you're gonna bring down our whole group with you so maybe i was wrong from the start maybe gabe is the future world champion oh hell no let's face it you're not the lock you're the weak link i don't need you or evolution i never did i'm better off on my own i quit good clear your stuff out I don't want to see you again. That's crazy. We got disrespected by our good friend Gabe. I knew he was fake from the beginning. Bruh. Turned his back on us. I mean, he was he was kind of spinning a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Because since the beginning, we all have just been like, Hey, Gabe, can you help me with this? He's not wrong, but still. Come on. I'm officially leaving Evolution. I never needed them to begin with. If anything, they were holding me back. So tonight wasn't a setback. It's a fresh start. Headed to the top on my own damn this keeps getting better for the hurt business i emoji rough night with the title loss and attack from the hurt business then i just saw your post about quitting evolution are you okay i'm worried about you never been better onward and upward from here this is cool i never needed this washed group anyways we need to talk this wasn't the plan i'm sure it's not too late to patch things up with randy and gabriel it's over i tried to do what you want and it didn't work We'll talk soon for sure. So, since we last caught up, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. Stirring of bad luck, or all part of the plan? All part of the plan. Bruh. All part of the plan. You might be hearing Orton and Gabriel's spin about how I was the weak link, but really, they were the dead weight, which is why I got rid of them. I realized I didn't need to be a part of some retread faction to get ahead. I'm bigger than that. I can win the WWE Championship on my own, and that's what I plan on doing. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted, and it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE universe. Are we finally getting rid of the lock name? And we're just gonna be ourselves? 
Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. He certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. Oh. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. Okay. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management. Mm. And especially, VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Oh? Let me shoot with you. Oh, Shawn he's shooting. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Okay, okay, this yeah, is interesting. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know, this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay, you really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match. I mean, it was pretty trash. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that? And you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on. Name one thing! Okay, let's get it all out there. If things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get Convince you them? Back you lied to me, son! You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit, throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. That's why I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success, because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged oh, here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Oh! oh. What did I just do? I think things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. Uh-oh. Officials, including Michael's good friend, Triple H, have arrived to... Oh, Triple H is here. Oh, it's over. It's over. Did I just get future endeavor? Best of luck. No, you can't do that. It was an accident, bro. Future Bruh. endeavored, bro. We just got fired. It's over. Breaking. W does not condone physical attacks, accidental and not against his employees. Therefore, John O'Connor has been released from his contract immediately. 
WWE official Shawn Michaels has suffered several injuries that are suspected to make a full recovery. Didn't picture it ending this way or this soon, but John O'Connor was never cut out for WWE, especially mentally. I tried to help him along the way, but he was a lost cause. Focus on my own career and success from here on out. I'm gonna get you, Gabriel. I swear. I promise. I'm gonna come back. John O'Connor has clearly gone off the rails. Glad she's no longer part of Evolution and even better now, WWE. Hashtag good riddance. Same thing to you, Randy. I know I have my share of run ins with WWE officials over the years, but that was brutal. The lock should be locked up. I'll comment on the actions of John O'Connor at a later date. All I care about is that my brother Shawn Michaels is going to be okay. I wake up in Japan and my latest video is not trending, but Shawn Michaels and John O'Connor are. Checks what happened at Raw and uh oh, clown. Hey, I tried calling you but didn't pick up. I'm here to talk. I know you're at a low point right now, but you don't have to go through this alone. Anyway, call me back. I'm concerned. Three months later, WWE 2K motion capture shoot? My ass got released and now I'm a freaking cut. Like I'm doing motion capture? Oh my god, I'm actually become I've become a motion artist. I've become a motion capture artist, my career. Whatever happened? I'm going up against Cole Quinn. Isn't he from 2K19? By the way, tell Buzz I said hi. Tell Buzz I said hi. Yeah, 2K19 references. It's really all gone downhill, huh? I went from being IC champion to being part of Evolution to being a freaking motion capture artist. We haven't had a session like this since the one for 2K20. Wow. Wow. They really cooked their own game. Deserved. Ooh, spear. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that is Sammy? That Money Sammy in the bank? For WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? <laughs> Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. Bro. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. That's crazy, bro. We had the Let's fall off of the sensory. Position, action on your briefcase victory scene. Great. Excellent. Now up to the corner, please. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god, bro, what's up with my character? He's just so angry. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me! Actually, I think we have! You're fired! Again! Bye! Why am I so angry? <laughs> My character's such like a psychotic, angry person, dude. Like, relax, dude. Relax, brother. Should we wake him up? Yeah, I will think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the? Morning, sunshine. <sighs> What's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Mm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months. I knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. Oh, cat's a real one. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. 
course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. But if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. <sighs> you're right. I'm going to AEW. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. All right, let's face the elite. Uh, we're gonna challenge Kenny Omega right away. MJF, yo, yo, we can face him too. Why are you here, Kat? I told you, I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too. For me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right, we're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. This coffee ran straight through me. And so begins the comeback story. Like I said, we're going to AEW. We're gonna we're gonna take down the elite. We're immediately gonna challenge for the world title. We're gonna become their world champion. Probably get into a nine month feud to Chris Jericho. That's gonna be great. We can also face uh, Punk if he uh, uh, ever comes back. Like I said, the comeback story begins today. We're gonna be making it back to WWE after uh, getting fired. Honestly, kind of rightfully so. I was extremely angry for no reason. I attacked Shawn Michaels by accident. Uh, I attacked Sammy in the mocap gig. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, I kind of deserved it, but we're gonna grow from this and we're gonna make a comeback to WWE, but we gotta build ourselves up first. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers now. You guys have shown insane love and support to the channel. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.